two 80 gigabit per second M4 Mac mini docks with a twist. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a fun one. We have two more docks here for your M4 or M4 Pro Mac mini. Now, hold off one second. Before I actually said I was gonna not do too many more of these, I only said I would do them if they're truly unique or if they have an incredible value. And I think this product, this is a product from B-Link and I'll put B-Link's logo right up here. But they actually introduced these two docks here. And let me just state that number one, they have the best performing internal SSDs that I've ever tested. And they actually have a little twist in there as well, which I'm gonna showcase later in the video. So these are a little bit different, you know, at least from my standpoint. So sit back and relax. I'm gonna go ahead and do a product showcase. Okay, just a quick disclaimer here. These are both sent to me by B-Link. Now they didn't give me the script, they didn't pay me, and they said just go ahead and make the video on it. That's what I'm gonna be doing here. And this is just a product showcase to show you all the different features built into these two docks and hubs here. Now, I'm not doing a full review because I'm one person and I get I have to test so many of these things, I can't use them long term. So I wanna just showcase the features here, but I still think it's gonna be a really interesting video because of the speed of these things. It's actually really cool. Okay, so introducing the B-Link Mate Mini A and the Mate Mini B over here. Now these are exactly the same on the outside. I'll show you all the ports and everything, but there's some huge differences on the inside that you're gonna wanna see. Okay, so the boxes are over here. The boxes look almost identical as well. Now when you actually get the box, it's almost like an Apple experience. You have little pull tabs. I'll show you some pictures of that on the back of them. You know those little pull tabs you get from Apple? It looks exactly like that. Okay, so in either of those two boxes, you're gonna get the actual dock. You're also gonna get instructions, and then it gives you a cable, but it's not really a cable. It's these kind of two looking, I'll show you some close-ups, but they're C-shaped, I guess they're 80 gigabit per second little cables, but they're made out of hard plastic here. And what this allows you to do, why do you get two of them in each box? So each box gives you, you know, each, each individual dock will give you two of them. Well, it's because it'll allow you to actually put this device here on top of your Mac Mini or below your Mac Mini. And since it's a little bit different height, they give you two little differences in height here on the connections. And this is how you connect into your Mac Mini. And it's actually really cool. Now, what I recommend doing is if you're using kind of Wi-Fi out there, I would place this on top of your Mac Mini. It's gonna, it's gonna affect your Wi-Fi less, all right? So on the top, if you're using Ethernet where you're plugged in directly, you can go ahead and be in the top or the bottom and maybe put it on the bottom. So either way, they have you covered with these two little, you know, little cables here. It's pretty, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so for the build quality here, you can see it in my hand. It's full metal construction with a plastic back, just kind of like your Mac Mini. It's the same dimensions as the M4 Mac Mini, except it's a little bit thinner. You can see how thin that is right there. I'll show you some close-ups as well. Now, both of these units, the Mate Mini A and the Mate Mini B, both of the ones I have sitting here, they both share the exact same ports on the back, or, or the back and the front, basically, or the side, actually. So they have the same ports on them. So I'm only gonna go through one of these to show you the ports, but it's the internals of both of these that make the big difference, and I'm gonna show you that with the speed tests and all the SSDs coming up soon. Stay tuned for that and then you guys can make your own decision but first let's go through the ports because they're the same on both devices here so what do you get for ports on the outside all right so on the very front it's very clean here you just have a little light that lights up when it's connected into your mac mini that's nothing now on the side it's going to be i guess the right side you do have an sd card reader they say it's an sd card reader 4.0 i believe up to 300 megabytes per second so it's really fast for an sd card reader it's a full size one there and then on the back of it, it's got a number of ports. It's got a USB-A, I believe that's 3.0. It's got a 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet port. That's really nice. It's got another USB-A 3.0. Then it's got an audio jack, so you can go ahead and put plug an audio in the back. Obviously your Mac mini has it on the front, so that's really nice. Then it has your, your host port, and this is gonna be an 80 gigabit per second host port. This connects into your actual you know, actual Mac, Mac mini over there. So. 80 gigabit per second. Then maybe you're gonna get the idea now on the SSD, it's really cool. And then finally over here, you get a PD in. So what that basically means is they say you can go ahead and connect like a 30 watt um, you know, power USB-C connector into here to actually give it additional power. In my testing, I didn't need to give it additional power, but if you're running a lot of different things, especially in the USB-A ports with the SSDs, you might need to give it some extra power and you can use anything around, I think they said around 30 watts or a little higher to go ahead and plug into here to give the hub more power if you need it. But from my testing and just using the SSDs in a couple small things, I didn't need to give it any more power. And one more thing, I'm just doing the product showcase. I'm not doing full testing, but I did test all the ports on both units here and they all work fine. The SSD card was quick, so nothing to complain about. Okay, something to note here. Now, this is really important. I'm gonna be testing both of these docks for the SSDs using an M4 Pro Mac Mini sitting over there. So that's a Thunderbolt 5 connection that's gonna be going into both of these docks. We'll go at the end of it. We'll show you what the difference would be if you just have a Thunderbolt 4, like you just have the standard M4 Mac Mini. But I have the M4 Pro Mac Mini and that's what we're gonna be testing on. 
Okay, now the secret sauce of this whole thing is basically built into the SSD enclosures or enclosure, depending on the model you have, and that's gonna be a secret right there. So let's talk first about the, the Mate Mini A, the version A, all right? Now I have links to all this in the video description. You can compare the two units yourself. This one actually has two SSD enclosures built into it, two of them, and we'll talk about that in a second, but they're both really fast. Now, the only caveat to this whole thing is actually getting into this thing. So when you actually wanna get into this and put the SSDs in here, you gotta unscrew basically. You have to take off these, there's like these little rubber stoppers on the bottom, you have to peel those off. I'll show you that. Then you gotta take out four screws just to take off this top layer. And then you have to go into this board, take off four more screws, you remove that, and then finally two screws and you screw in the actual SSDs. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some pictures here. I'm using the Samsung 990 Evo Plus. You can see them there. And uh, that's what I'm gonna be using for this test here. So you have to do all that to get in here. So this is not something you wanna change the hard you know, the SSDs all the time on. That's really the only caveat to this is it takes you know five or 10 minutes to get in there and actually make the change or put the SSDs in. It's not rocket science, but it can be a little tedious if you have to get in with the little screws and stuff. I recommend kind of a magnetic screwdriver for sure. And it didn't come with a screwdriver in the box. Oh yeah, one thing to note too is actually when you get in there and you start installing the SSDs, you wanna peel off, there's a little bit of paper on the thermal pads and you wanna make sure you take off that layer of paper and actually allow the thermal pad to touch the SSDs. It's already pre-installed on the back plate, but you have to peel off that paper. Just, I almost forgot to do that. So just make sure I wanna put that in here. Okay, for the Mate Mini A, here's the kicker here. For, first of all, I went ahead and I just put one of my Samsung 990 Evo Plus drives in there, and I ran the test, all right? And I was able to get around 3,200 megabytes per second, but I only filled one of the slots. Just make sure you fill the first slot only. If you're only putting one drive in here, only do that on the first slot, because if you put it in the second slot, it won't recognize it until the actual first one's filled, all right? So that's really fast by itself. But here's the kicker. I, if you put in two of them, right, two different drives here, you can go ahead and see a picture here you'll get 3,200 on both drives, all right? So you get 3,200 on one, 3,200 megabytes per second on the other one, super, super fast connections, but it doesn't stop there. If you actually go ahead and RAID this, and I used RAID Assistant that's actually built into you know, the Apple operating system, Mac OS. I used RAID Assistant and I RAIDed them both together as RAID zero, all right? And what did I get here? Let me just show you. All right, I was able to get 6,200 megabytes per second roughly on the writes and around 5,579 megabytes per second on the reads. Can you believe that? And that's gonna be in RAID 0. Now, mind you, when you do RAID something in RAID 0, if one drive fails, they both fail. Even in RAID 1, I mean, I always I worked in a data center for 26 years. RAID is not backup, right? RAID can get corrupted. You can get a, a ransomware attack on it. So whether it's RAID 0, you still need to back up your data. It's not gonna be backing it up. RAID 1, people think it's a backup because it mirrors the drives. That's really not the case. RAID is really meant for uptime of your SSD. It's not made for backup. You always want to have a backup on-site and off-site. So just keep that in mind. But I did RAID 0 here, and you're able to get well over 6,000 megabytes per second on this system connected into the M4 Pro Mac Mini. Super cool, super fast. So you can RAID this. You can have multiple drives, just one drive. But this is called the, this is the Mate, what is it? The Mate Mini A version. Now let's actually talk about the B version, which is cool. Okay, so for the B version of it right here now, again, the ports on the outside are exactly the same. There's no difference really on the outside, but the main difference is on the internal side, it's only got one SSD enclosure built into this one. But why would you go with this one versus the other one? Why would you go with one that only has one versus two? Because it gets the full power of that 80 gigabit per second into just one SSD. So what does that mean? So when you actually, I put in the same 990 EVO in there plus, and I ran the test again with just one drive in here this time without rating anything. And I got, let me just see here, 59.28 on the writes, and I got 55.72 megabytes per second on the reads. Really, really fast, really, really crazy, right? With just a single drive, because you're getting that full throughput of it. And so if you only have the one drive, obviously, this might be the one for you instead of trying to rate it and all that stuff for that. If you want that really fast speed, I mean, it's just a really overall, they give you a lot of choices between the A version and the B version. Now, I only tested these 990 Evo Pluses. I didn't even test anything beyond that. I know there's drives that are like up to 14,000 megabytes per second, which might even make this quite a bit faster. I don't know, but that's what I tested. It's super fast. Okay, also both of these units do have a fan in them and the fan is very, very, I never even heard the fan running and it does control the heat fairly well. It does get a little warm to the touch when they're running. Obviously it's got those SSDs in there, but I've never, it never was hot enough where I was worried about it. Or like it was, ooh, that's really hot. Never like that. It was always just kind of, you know, warm, I guess I would call it a little bit warm, but never, never hot. So I think that fan does a really good job and I couldn't hear it at all. I mean, I was listening for it. I didn't know if it was turning on, but it just didn't seem like it was even audible. That's a good plus too. 
Okay, let's talk about pricing now. So take a look at my screen over here. So here's the mini, it's the Mate Mini A version, the, the one with the two SSDs in it right here. It's $139, you can see right here, usually $189, 26% off right now, five out of five rating. You can see in here, it can go up to 16 terabytes with those two SSD enclosures. Really cool there. Now the B version's right over here, and I'll have links to all this in the video description, but if I click on the B link, you're gonna see, hey, that's even more expensive, but it's really got a coupon down here, so the coupon makes it the exact same price at 139. Again, this is the one with one SSD enclosure, but you get the full throughput of that, so that one SSD can be a lot faster. The other one, you have to kind of raid together. So you can see the differences here, why you might get one over the other one. Okay, my final thoughts here. Now, these are both crazy fast. I really like these products, the A and the B version of this. Keep in mind that I'm attached to an M4 Pro Mac Mini. So if you only have an M4 Mac Mini without the Thunderbolt 5, you only have Thunderbolt 4. Let me just put up a little graph here. These are the speeds you can expect then. See these speeds right here? So it's gonna cut things down, obviously, if you don't have the Pro version with Thunderbolt 5. This should also work with other computers that have Thunderbolt 5, but you may have to have your own cable because these little cables are specifically made for the M4 Mac Mini or M4 Pro Mac Mini. If you have a Thunderbolt 5 cable, you could probably use this with other computers, Windows computers, things like that as well. It's really just an SSD in a dock, right? But I really, really like these things. Overall, they're, you know, I think a great value for the money when you compare them to other things and what you get. And like I mentioned, the only downside is actually getting into them. So if you don't change the SS SSDs out too often, it's not really a big problem. You're going to invest about 10 minutes, maybe get a little frustrated with the screws going everywhere and everything like that. But once it's in there internally and sound and you put everything back together, it's a really solid device that looks cool on the desk and it doesn't distract from anything. And it gives you the option of being below or above. And then once again, this is just a product showcase. I can't do a full review because I've only tested it now for a couple weeks. But in any case, I do like the product. And we will talk to you the next one. Hope you guys like these. Peace.